the greatest reason for weakness of Iman. The greatest reason for weakness of Iman is being detached from the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of His Prophet This is number one. This will kill you every single time. If you are detached from the Book of Allah, meaning you don't read it, you don't ponder upon its meanings, you don't memorize it, you don't try to implement it in your life, then you cannot be wondering why your Iman is weak. Because you have no attachment to Allah. The Prophet said, I leave behind, with me two, behind me two things. If you hold to them, you will never go astray. The first of them is the Book of Allah, which is like a rope. One end of it with Allah Azza wa Jal and the other end of it in your hands. If you let go of that rope, then you lose your connection with Allah Azza wa Jal. You have to continue to keep that connection with the Book of Allah. The only way we know Allah is by that which He has revealed to us about Himself. And where else are you going to find that which Allah has revealed to us about Himself other than in His Word? Other than in His Word. This is the words of Allah Azza wa Jal. This is as close as you're going to get to being near to Allah in this life is through your connection to Allah through His book. Because even in our salah, people say, yeah, our salah is our connection with Allah. Is there any salah that is valid without the book of Allah in it? Is there any salah that is valid without the book of Allah being in it? So you can't tell me that salah is the only connection you have with Allah because if you don't have the book, then you don't have the salah. So the book of Allah Azza wa Jal is the most important thing. It is primary. It is primary. I can't stress the importance enough that if you don't pick up the Qur'an at least once a day in the morning or in the evening or any time and at least thumb through something and try to understand it then you have lost a severe connection with Allah Azza wa Jal. You've lost it. And if you just read the Arabi, MashaAllah, may Allah reward you with the hasanat of every single letter you read. But if you don't understand it, what is it going to do for you? You don't know what Allah is even telling you. You are saying something that Allah is commanding you and you don't even understand it. It's like you sitting here speaking, if I gave this language in, in, in a language that I made up, you wouldn't benefit from it and I wouldn't know what I'm saying. You get hasanat through its recitation and you get benefit through its understanding. And therefore you must have your connection with Allah through His book and you must have connection to the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. These two things are mandatory. Losing these will cause you to have weakness of Iman. Wallahi, every time. The, farther you, the longer you stay away from the book of Allah, the more you will find your Iman draining. Because the book of Allah is like gasoline in the car, like the petrol you put in the car. If you don't put any petrol in the car, what's going to happen? It's eventually going to be stuck in the middle of the road. You're not going to be able to go anywhere else. The same without putting the, the, the heart filled with the remembrance of Allah Azza wa Jal through His Word. You will find a heart that becomes empty. Empty of any energy whatsoever to please Allah. What it will have energy for is to disobey Allah Azza wa Jal. Because shaitan will be the one filling it up at that point. With all the doubts and the masiyah and things of this nature.